Hello everyone, Angel Wolf here with a brand new video showing you how to update your Thief installation to the very latest versions of the programs and just a quick rundown of my last video. Um, the Dark Engine source code was found back in 2010 and it was found by a, a dev kit designer for a, on our Dreamcast dev kit. So it was released to the source, the source code was released to the internet and we ended up getting more versions of Thief than the company ever made. So uh, to start off, we're going to do basically the same, same similar setup as last time. I'm putting the links here. We got T-Fix, which uh, puts the new dark version on there. And we're going to use OpenAL to engage the... Uh, the audio reverberation and sound effects and the sound effects enhancement pack and the HD mod 2 1.2 so in my last video I would think it was at 0 0.8 so it's quite an improvement it's been a good two years since I made that video so things have definitely changed and I've got a nice new computer now so this is coming at you in glorious uh, 1080p. So let's get an install. I've already got everything downloaded and ready to go, but I'm going to leave links to all these websites in the in the content uh, description. That's what it is. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. But anyway, this is what your Thief Gold uh, installation should look like. Uh, this is my GOG version of the game. I ended up buying it again because I lost my original discs. Uh, during the move out here to Washington and uh, it was only like three or four dollars on GOG and I was like you know what I'll just buy it that way I'll have it for the rest of my life you know it's not gonna go anywhere I'm not gonna lose it so I've got my Thief Gold installed and you can see that uh, you know it's it's basically supposed to look like this so this is the directory with nothing in it and I've got my downloaded programs over here so I will drop those in. And the first one I want to install is T-Fix. So I'll go ahead and install that. And that's fine. We leave everything the way it is. We gotta point it to our game directory. So in this place case it's program files. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, it jumped around. I don't know where they Come on. Program files. Galaxy client games. Beef gold. So install. And it does its thing. Disable the anti-aliasing. No, I don't want to disable the I have a I have a decent video card now, so I know I can handle the anti-aliasing. Alright, so that is done. Got the T fix. Let's install OpenAL, which is a zip file, and we just open it. OpenAL gets installed. That's all for that. Uh, we can do the sound effects enhancement. We gotta find the folder again can't just make it easy for me. Program files, Galaxy Client, and Thief Gold. There it is. Let that do its thing. This will update all the sound effects to make them work. Uh, it, it, it clarifies them and adds uh, better sound to the game. And let's just let it finish. And it's also important to note that uh, with this installation, you can't use the uh, you can't use the EP2, the uh, enhancement pack two with the HD mod. 
So because I'm using the HD mod, I can't use the EP2 anymore. So that's why that's not included anymore. And installation successful. So it's even faster on my old computer, my new computer. And then finally, we're going to install the HD mod. So HD mod last is your best bet because it changes some things that TFIX changes. And to uninstall it, you're supposed to reinstall TFIX. There it goes. It's a, it's a big download. It's a gigabyte, gig point two. So hopefully you have a fast internet connection. Hopefully you do. Though. Everybody pretty much has high speed nowadays. And that is installing. Okay, important note for the new older version. Yep, so that's fine. I can continue because I just uninstalled everything. Or please install TFIC first. Do not install. So it warned you. That's good. And we got the gold edition. And we got to tell it where to find it. And it is in program files. Galaxy Client Games, Thief Gold. And there it goes. And I'm also not going to pad this video out by teaching you how to, uh, um, you know, do, do that thing, that thing. <laughs> Defrag, defrag. I'm not going to teach you how to defrag the game this time. I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to defrag a game. Though a game like Thief really... <laughs> it's, it's so small by today's standards. And this mod is bigger than the game itself. That's just... <laughs> the game is about 600 megabytes. The HD mod is... I'm not doing anything really important here. It's overloading my recorder a little bit because it's uh, probably installing to the same hard drive. Oh well, didn't think that out too well. But it'll happen anyway, so let that finish and we can see. Now we have HD mod and we have some other directories in there. We are not complete. Next video, though, I'll show you how to set up the uh, go into the settings for everything. Hopefully, this video doesn't come out too too bad. Keeps getting overloaded. So yeah, I'm, I've actually started watching uh, my own videos again because I'm, I got, finally got a, a Ripsaw capture card and uh, I, I can now record like we, I can record my PlayStation, I can record pretty much everything at full 60 frames a second gorgeousness. So I started tinkering around with different format settings and uh, Started making some Wii uh, Metroid Prime games before my uh, the cable decided it didn't want to work anymore, and it got me going with old videos. And I was like, you know what? I should probably update my Thief video, you know, and and play those again because hey, why not? So this is still going to take a while. But that is pretty much the order now, though. The mods are so simple for Thief. So simple. Though Thief is a game that I definitely don't play with the webcam on because I like to play it in the dark with the lights off so that I immerse myself in the Thief world. And to me, it's just not Thief without the headphones and the darkness. So, 
the Thief games won't be about my face here, but <laughs> they will be about putting Thief front and center. Like, dude, you remember this game? No, you don't? Okay, let me show you something. <laughs> the game is so old now, but it's still so much fun to play. The only thing they really haven't done much about retexturing or redoing anything are the models. I don't think they really changed the models too much. So the textures on the models are probably better. The meshes, those meshes are just so, oh. It's right on the cusp, right on the, we're just starting to get out of crappy looking 3D. Because, <laughs> you know, there was a transition when things changed from 2D gaming into 3D gaming, where the 3D games just looked terrible. They looked terrible. I, I couldn't stand Quake when I first when I first saw it. I thought it looked like awful, and the original Tomb Raider was nothing to look at, and Thief was like like a year later, and it, it's got some funky looking models. But it's just such a fun... The, the gameplay is what really drives Thief. Uh, and all three... all Actually, I have all of them now. I have uh, the new one. I have uh, the Dark Mod. New version of the Dark Mod. And I'll probably be playing that again. I have Dishonored. Um... A lot of other good stealth games have come out since then. Um, Outlast, if you like horror, great stealth. Great, scary-ass stealth game. Um, Amnesia, the Dark Project. Uh, Amnesia, the Dark Descent. It's like another good one for uh, Thief Gamer. And the new uh, Alien as well. Alien, um, Alien Isolation. Very, very good stealth. And I have them all, so I'm going to be playing them at some point, along with uh, a lot of the zombie games that I play a lot now. I love bashing zombies. There's just something so much satisfying about Dead Island and Dying Light that I'll be able to do once I get my new new card. I see. I needed an encoder card now. I have, I have the capture card, and now I need the encoder card so that my CPU doesn't run down while I'm trying to record stuff. Like it's doing right now. But yeah, it's a pretty big mod, so it takes a little while. But hey, what are you going to do? I want you guys to get the whole modding experience. <laughs> get the entire modding experience from start to finish. Just to see how just darn easy it is. And I'll be making a video for Thief 2 as well, and the uh, Thief Gold, uh, Th Thief Deadly Shadows Gold. They made a, a uh, somebody made a mod for Thief Deadly Shadows that uh, expands the maps so that they're not cut in half. You can actually go through the entire map with no breaks in between. So that's going to be fun to play again, and again, 60 frames a second. Ah, oh, on a big TV at 1080p yeah with a, a Razer Naga mouse with 12 buttons on the thumb thumb side and two buttons on top it's gonna be a good experience I've already got some configurations set up for how I want the game to play we are almost at the end here the encoding is overloaded again. Oh, we can see stuff starting to appear in the folder. Looks like fonts of some kind. There we go. Finished. L L A A in your thief. See, large address aware enabled. Okay. So that is basically what we have done. And I believe there is a another application in here.
Uh, graphic settings. So you got the new dark graphic settings. And hey, I have <laughs> I have a very strong computer now, so I'm going to turn all these things on here. Uh, leave those alone. Turn on some post processing. Or to full color. Sounds good. New blood effects. Why not? Add some blood effects. I'm not going to mess with the... And then we go to the water tool. And... We can choose my favorite water. If it doesn't crash on me. Whoa! Oh, it's a video. Okay. Alright. So we get to see different water types. It seems a little too, little too not as much. I kind of like that one. Ah, the behind the scenes things, you know. This is all behind the scenes stuff. I like that, it's kind of subtle. Yeah, I'll go with that one. I like four. Water type 4. Blend and grin and grout. <laughs> Alright, so that's done. That's all done. Config 1. Wait a minute. Full color. Oh, I get to see a different. Alright. Then we can see bloom. Oh, well, it made folders for us. How convenient. All right, so we got config one. Just pick a random scene. And that looks decent. Decent. Mm, now let me look at the same image. All right, that's a nice looking hallway. So we'll try to look at the same hallway shot in the other one. Hallway. Uh, it looks kind of flat. And then three is, is going. Of course, it doesn't have the same shot. Yeah, all right, I'll play around with the settings. But that's basically how you do it. You can play around with the different contrasts and the different blooms. So that is it, and I will see you in the game.